Surgeon General Warning. Tobacco use increases the risk of infertility, stillbirth, and low birth weight. Fifty-five days ago, these were seedlings, and now they're being harvested, ready to be cured. This is how we do it here. We snap it like that, and we put it right there. And we go to the next plant here. We got one, two. Make sure they're nice and straight, and grab another. This leaf here is going to be two wrappers. They take the leaf, they cut the center off, and this side here is going to be a wrapper and this side. Usually they go around here, quarter of an inch, they cut it off, and this is the part they use for the premium cigars. For someone who hasn't seen this process done before, one of the neatest is to harvest when we start picking the tobacco, making sure it's ripe and ready to go to the barn. So the following process, which is the other workers will sow it and hang it in the barn. In this shed here, we get about 250 bundles, which is roughly about 300,000 pounds of tobacco. Once the shed is complete, we let it rest for two or three days, and then we put the burnish and we do the initial green fire. We do it in a five-day stage. The first day, we set it up at 86 degrees, and then we do increments of two degrees per day. This is the critical stage of the tobacco process, because if you get it wrong in the green fire, the leaves won't turn brown. They'll be on a greenish color, and you don't want that. You gotta concentrate and plan how you're gonna green fire your tobacco. And there's a technique to it. After firing, we open the sheds, give it plenty of air. The air, of course, helps it dry faster. The curing process, what it does, it makes the colors look better. The best leaves with a better color, those are the ones we use for the wrapper premium cigar, the Monte Cristo and the Romeo Julieta. The young plants will be in the ground about 55 days, and then we'll bring them into the barn, which will be the home for them for the next seven to eight weeks before we start taking it down. 